I was sent to locate the man with grey elevated hair. I travelled very far and for many months. Plants grew like hairstyles on a dried skin. I saw many landscapes on my journey. I saw black cables on long poles over the ground, always further to the point where nothing ends. Someone goes by slowly. I wondered what he is doing with all the people who are with him. They are speaking strange sentences and using strange equipment. Floating over white boxes following my grey shadow against the measured lines. I wonder to myself, are there still places where no footprints can be found? Special Agent Dale Cooper, man. Look, you got a fire in the fire. Yeah, have a seat. Thank you. That's awesome. Cheryl's right here, Dave. We need some stockings hung by that fire. Stockings. Close the door. Or get in. Oh, look at you. Wow, that's incredible. That's incredible. Right, you look just Sit down. Exactly what is this? Oh, my God. That's incredible. Have a seat. Wow. There she is. But my God. You do look, look at exactly you. the same. Wow. You do look exactly the same. Okay, so this is a picture of moments my... before you meet um, Special Agent Dale Cooper in the woods. Moments, moments, moments before. You're stoned. You're cr crying. You've been crying. You're very upset. That's how you're going through the woods. And you'll be going along. There's a there's a path that you'll take. You'll you'll appear, you'll appear, you know, and you'll be going along. You'll step over this log and you'll come around and you'll be at the bottom of an incline and you'll look up and you'll see Special Agent Dale Cooper up above. And you'll you'll say, you know, uh, who are you? And you'll do your dialogue there. And then you say you saw him in a dream. And uh, then right after that, you'll put your hand out. And you'll, you'll climb up and take it. And you'll look at him in the eye. And, and, and you'll say, where are we going? And he'll say, we're going home. And you'll go out. I mean, he's not dressed like most people I meet in the woods. No. No, he's he's um, especially dressed like an FBI agent. Yeah. Yeah, and, but you you when you see him, at first it's like, who are you? And then all this stuff comes back, and there's a connection, you know. There's a connection between the two of you, mm -hmm. and you've seen him in a dream. So, and it's like, and, and not only have you seen him before, but you you have seen him, and I've gotten the feeling that he's trustworthy. So it's not a frightening thing anymore. Just when you first see him, you know, and then it all kind of starts coming back. 
it's it's a feeling that's much better than going up suddenly it's much better than going up with a Jacques and, and Leo and it sort of interrupts all that and you wonder what this is all about and you says you ask him where where are we going and he says we're going home and it gives you a strange feeling a very strange feeling as you go out I see the spine of a sleeping dragon. Can you see it? Something is moving in the forest. Underneath, people stand rigid like trees. The nervous man with the silver face is running and falling out of the dark into the green. Jerry Horn, oh, of all people to see. <laughs> How you doing, man? How are you? Really good. Ah, oh, fantastic. It's great to see you, buddy. Live better than ever. <laughs> same to you, same to you. I look exactly the same, don't I? <laughs> exactly the same. <laughs> really wonderful to be yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, fantastic. You want to walk and talk for a little bit? Yeah, let's go. OK, let's walk and talk. I'll never forget that thing you told Harry Dean. We were doing well at heart. What did I tell him? Well, he was he was gonna die, and you told him about the book uh, autobiography of a yogi, uh -huh. and uh, about the saints leaving their bodies and stuff like that. Uh huh. So uh, you got one for me for this coming through here? <laughs> okay, this is. Um, He's lost. Uh, this is. He's looking um, for his place. You're looking for the answer. Okay. And it's out there somewhere, and you got to move forward to it and get it. Okay. You just got to find it. You got to move forward to find the answer. All right. So you're looking. You're looking out there. You're, you don't care about anything else. And and you're high stepping through the through the grass, moving forward, moving forward. Okay. Relentlessly moving forward. All right. Is that tight enough? You can't fool me. I've been here before. It's kind of like a plaster. And it's um, called Fix It All or Fix All. And the bag, I think, comes in 20-pound bags. What is this? And it's green and yellow, I think the bag is. And um, you mix it with water, and it sets up in about 20 minutes. And we need two bags of that so we have enough to do the job. As the men get right there, Andy turns. His face shows a shock of disbelief. There, lying on the mossy floor, is a nude woman. And he makes his way to her. The others, now seeing, move around her. Sheriff Truman reaches to see if there's a pulse. And he touches the woman's hand. The hand moves, and the woman takes Andy's hand in hers. She's alive, Truman says. Andy's going to come around, and he's going to touch your shoulder. Mm -hmm. And you kind of start coming to life, and you put out your left hand just along the moss. And he'll, you, 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 you just kind of, you'll, it'll be down here, and you're just kind of pushing out, mm -hmm. and she'll, you'll, she'll, he'll take your hand, mm -hmm. like this, mm -hmm. and um, he'll roll you over to take a look at your face, mm -hmm. and he'll see mm -hmm. your face, mm -hmm. and when, when he's, when you, he, when he, when he starts rolling you over, mm -hmm. you make like your neck is very long, like a little animal, and you raise your head up and you try mm -hmm. to see him, but you're blind. You try to see him and you start talking mechanical. You make little noises. That's right. Try to see him with a long neck. And you're just talking away. You can just say many things. Here is the tree, right? Mm -hmm. Here's Nato. Here's Andy. Here's Bobby. Here's Hawk. Here's Sherry Truman. You're gonna say she's alive, and and 
then and he's, he's going to start talking. She's going to start coming up like a little animal, moving about, talking. And Andy will, her, will have a thing. And then um, a funnel is going to appear in the air. And it's going to be just a whip, like a, like a giant t tunnel. And it's going to make a gigantic noise. You guys are going to be in a shot where you just sort of get burned out by lightning as you're mesmerized by this thing. And, and Bobby's going to do a yellow mouth scream by the sycamore tree. And Andy's going to stand and let go of Nato's hand. And he's going to disappear. All right, let's pack it up. We're going to move to O'Lolly. When they're hiking uh -huh. through. Okay, so I got it. They have bristles over there. This is like this. Oh. It's like this one is you're up like this, right. no service. Okay. And then you go down and, and just you got a you got a thing, you, and that's the close up. Okay. And then we're wide on you, and you scream up to the sky, you know, out that way, to the top of that mountain. You can't fool me. I've been here before. Okay. You can't fool me. Okay. You, make, you make your way in. What's that. the thing? Huh? What's the thing? You can't fool me? No. What's the thing? You said, you look on this way, no research, and then there's a thing. Oh, um, it, uh, anger. Anger. Now face away from me. Look out that way. Okay, here we go. Johnny, still many. Flex all. Fix all. Oh, fuck me, man. <laughs> they said they only had tiny little boxes of fix-off, so they got this. Is that the same? Fuck! Is that the same? Plaster of Paris. Uh -oh. Plaster of Paris bullshit! Okay, mix it up. Mix it on the thin side first, Phil. And then bring the bucket with the liquid yes. stuff up here. Folk song. Irish song. Okay. I'm part of English too. Are you part of English too? I am not. Yeah. But I know some English people I like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see now. If you be the last of a grum, as I take it. The first token that passed between you and me. Don't you remember night on young green hill when we were together? I'm sorry. Oh, the rain, it falls on my heavy locks The dew, it wets my skin My babe lies cold within my arm And now will let me in If you be the last of a fulcrum As I take it You need to be Tell me the first token The past between you and me That's it. James Joyce, the dead. Uh -huh. It's a it's a story that you know they filmed it, and uh, that's where he's showing because he was a tenor and he played guitar, uh -huh. and uh, he put that in there to show uh, how 
music in Colostrum. Yeah, beautiful. <laughs> That's really beautiful. Thank you kindly. Yeah. Further against the direction of the water, a bright light shines on the face of a young woman. Her mother twists herself inside a bottle, smashing a face into the carpet. Talking quietly in a corner, he tells her of the plan. Does the man with the gray elevated hair belong to her? Mm-hmm. And that's what you're watching. Yeah, it's my kind of stuff. Is that wise to the very end? Is that good? Mm-hmm. But if later I think I should have known certain things. Uh, and you, you can ask me questions. Good God. But I have an idea for another scene. Mm -hmm. Okay. We just shoot. And you might think it's, you know, it's pretty strange. It's this, it's a goddamn bad story. And you might, you know, you might make a noise like, you know, like, you know, it's your outer stuff. Yeah. And then you'll get up and you go in the other room. We'll stay there. And you'll, when you pull it here, you rush things through some empty bottles and drink that, but it's not enough. Mm. And then you'll leave the room. And next thing you know, you're on your way to the bar. And the third thing is the last thing. You're on your hands and knees. You've got the picture of Laura Palmer. And it's on a rock. You're on your hands and knees. You're sort of screaming at it. And you hit it with a bottle and break it. First one, we're very close. Think about how you would sit on the couch when you think and watch TV yeah. and drink. Yeah. It's not like completely relaxed. Right. It's not like tense. Mm -hmm. It's something kind of settled in, but thinking, thinking, and watching, and thinking, and drinking. So mm -hmm. it's not, it's somewhere in between. Trust him, really. No. And do I love him? You, um... Just from, like... You do, in a way, yeah. But not in love, not, you know, yeah, so it's like, no, yeah, yeah, no. yeah. Okay. Because it's written, mm -mm -mm. Is, it, is it that all the time? 
What do you mean? What do you mean all the time? Well, she's just she's she's giving him. Yeah, giving just him the business. Giving him the business. She's giving the business tonight. Like I gave you the business. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. I know where you wrote it from, you <laughs> brat. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Which is kind of a child woman, don't you think? A child woman. A woman, like, it swaps around. Yeah, yeah. Like, I needed your help. Well, fuck you, I didn't yeah, need your help. Yeah, but exactly. Yeah. Why didn't you? Oh, fuck you. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> okay. You're exactly right. Smoke a cigarette. When you, when you, um... When you uh, had this thing of your dream about Billy, right? That's important, you know, to to paint a picture of how he was bleeding from the nose and the mouth, and it really freaks you out. And then sometimes dreams are, are, are you know, mm, they they they're, they're true, yeah. Yeah, and you're worried about him, you know, you're worried about him. But it's not remembering that dream in that moment. Can I have one, please? No, sure. It was fueled, right, by this whole day, like we said. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you, the dream has been with you. Right. Like, that's why we that's have to why go. That's why you gotta go, right. It would be one thing without the dream, but it's double, double whammy. And you really can't stand, you know, being like, you know, sleepy and, you know, and not, you know, rallying. And it's manipulative to bring up, you know, what she nope. brings up. Yep. You know, you gotta do the papers. Yeah. That's it. Great, I got my way. Fuck you. Good, we're going. Mm -hmm. I don't think that with these. Yeah, I won't ask you. You won't tell me. Yeah, the papers are like, you know, could be a divorce or something like that. Yeah. And, you know, it, it's like, um, and your friend Paul. Like, is a bad man. Kick his ass, yeah. yeah. And, like that. Okay. You got it. You got it perfect. Just the, the nosebleed. That would really freak you, you know, when you, when you talk about that. Because it was like in the dream, it was like, oh, gushing from his mouth, was, you know. And you were that really worried you. But so that's like, okay, I got, I got, um. Yes, I'll do that. That's what I will do. And then. Take a little time with that, maybe. Or just the way you say it, you know, just the way you, in your mind. You, you know, I, I saw him. Yeah, He's bleeding, yeah. yes, you know, exactly. and, and I got to get out of here, and yeah. you fucking won't help me. Yeah, exactly. Nothing stands in the way of the curious few now. I feel in the end everything looks the same. Why is a headless body sleeping on the table? Are these the last thoughts of a freestanding mind? It's gonna be done in pieces. I gotta, I gotta work things out with Laura and Kyle. But we can go shoot Kyle waking up. You wanna look at the room? I see him. Are you there? In my mind's eye, yeah. I hope it matches. It does. Um, matches it perfectly. He's gonna be laying on his side, sort of sleeping. He's gonna roll over and look up at the ceiling. He's gonna look around and not see Diane. He's gonna call out, no answer. He's gonna sit up, discover the note on the bedside table and read it, and uh, think about it, and then we cut. Okay, let me rehearse with Kale, and um, then we'll shoot this. Okay, so Kyle has come in, and you're over there where the note is, Kale, yep. was. I come in at... Uh, we're, over, we're over her when she comes in. 
and we're over uh, Kyle when she comes in. Let's say you walk in, and Kayla, you come to right about here, mm -hmm. and you come in tidbit behind, okay. and you close the door, mm -hmm. and you before you even close the door, you 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 turn on the light. This one or this one? That one, that switch. Oh, the switch. And since she turns off the light, she comes over, and we may just follow her. You know, we might just come come across with her, and or um, yeah, we come across with her into a tight two shot. Okay, and then we're right in here. Get get That's close. Mm -hmm. You come in and you say down here. And then uh, you put your hand on her waist. And then you lean into each other and kiss. And you kiss hot. Okay. <laughs> this, this, this is very strange, isn't it? This thing blew well but 25 years later. Right. And it's a very strange thing. Very. Yeah. Oh my God! I know. Oh my God! <laughs> okay. It's about what are you doing here? What are you doing? <laughs> okay. So then, the next thing would be Kale leaning against the headboard, sitting up, mm -hmm. no shirt. Tidbit, riding uh, Dale Cooper, up your back, just your back, kissing. Then, uh, Kale's right hand on a bare breast, kissing, and Tidbit pulls away, and you see those black and white fingernails going up Kale's shoulders to his neck and his head and working his head as you guys are going. Just sort of working his head with the fingernails and fingers. Okay. And you're just letting her do this. And even though it's a little strange, it's in the rhythm with you guys. And then you see Tidbit's head go back and you're crying. That's the end.